The M2.9 flare that recently appeared on the Sun in the following coronal mass ejection led to the emergence of a geomagnetic storm on Earth. The first consequences of this storm are strong auroras and malfunctions of radio communications and GPS navigation systems that were already felt in Canada and the United States. According to scientists engaged in the study of space weather, it was originally supposed that it is a storm of class G2 or G3, but it was the weakest geomagnetic storm on a five-point scale of classification of these phenomena and its class G1. The geomagnetic storm appeared on July 19th, but it could continue through July 20th and 21, according to scientists' reports. Such phenomena occur when streams of solar particles head toward Earth, especially if they have traveled as a result of powerful solar plasma emissions into space. These solar particles eventually encounter the Earth's magnetosphere and penetrate the upper atmosphere. This leads to the appearance of very bright auroras and not only at polar latitudes. Moreover, geomagnetic storms can influence the work of electronics and lead to failures in radio communication and GPS navigation systems. Strong auroras were already reported in the skies over the province of Alberta and much further south in the skies over South Dakota, USA. There were also reports of minor disruptions to GPS systems and communications. But the geomagnetic storm could still increase its intensity and the rest of the Earth is at risk of its negative impact. Furthermore, during geomagnetic storms, their influence on electronics can be manifested in the fact that there is a failure in the work of railway traffic lights and they may show the wrong color signal. In other words, it may be red instead of green, but it is much more dangerous when a green signal appears instead of red, the scientists claim. Such malfunctions can cause terrible accidents on the railroad. For now, scientists have not yet reached a consensus on how strong a geomagnetic storm must be to cause such disruptions in railroad signaling systems. New sunspots continue to appear on the sun, causing solar flares and coronal mass ejections. When such outbursts are not directed toward Earth, we feel little or no change in space weather. But if our planet is in the path of a solar eruption, a geomagnetic storm cannot be avoided. Now solar flares are very frequent and they all have different classifications. The most dangerous to the Earth are considered to be Class M and Class 10 flares, ranked in increasing order. As for flares of Classes A, B, and C, their impact is less noticeable, even though they can also be dangerous for our planet.